How's it going everybody? Welcome to Sick Eric Tech. Today we're going to be quickly taking a look at Android 13 Beta 2 for the Google Pixel 6. Now if you guys don't know how to uh, sign up for this, I will post a link in the description down below. That way you guys can go ahead and check it out. But it's pretty much uh, pretty easy. You just want to opt in. When you see the uh, Pixel 6, it will ask you a whole bunch of questions and uh, you just check them off and opt in and then once you're done you're going to go ahead and go into your settings and then you're going to scroll down to system and then system update and you should have that update waiting for you now the good thing about this update is that it will not wipe your data when you install but if you want to opt out and go back to android 12 it will wipe your data and you will have to start all over again so that was a nice surprise when i figured it out and i installed Android 13 beta 2. Now, as far as the uh, timeline goes for this, um, this is the beta 2 and there's going to be uh, another beta and then finally it's going to get into the stable stages. So it's coming soon. Within the next several months, we're gonna be getting a stable version of Android 13. So not that much has changed on here compared to uh, Android 12 for the Pixel 6. I do notice that things are a little bit smoother on here especially with animations and you can see very very nice and smooth with the animations on here and it just feels a lot better on android 12 things felt a little bit junky like as far as the way the animations thing they didn't make sense if that makes any sense but on here everything is so smooth whenever you go back home and you scroll on here when you go into your different apps and you slide on here everything just seems really smooth when you slide on over to the back, everything just sort of slides rather than coming at you. When you lock your device, very nice uh, animations there. When you unlock your device, it's more of a outward rather than an upward animation on there. So very, very nice. And I did notice the uh, fingerprint sensor is a lot better on Android 13. For some reason, things are better on this beta version than they were on Android 12. Very, very nice. The fingerprint sensor is a lot more responsive and a lot quicker when it comes down to uh, the fingerprint sensor. So that is a nice welcome for Android 13 beta. Going on over to the media controls on here. So uh, very, very cool little animations when you're playing music on here. You'll notice that there is a little bit of a squiggly line right there, as you can see when it's playing. So very, very nice little cool feature. It looks like a little worm going across so that's really cool all the uh the buttons for over here for controls seem to have been moved over here to the side and you get more of an animation when you switch on to tracks and stuff like that so very very nice as you can see the little wiggly line i think it's cute it looks nice it's a nice little touch for android 13 beta and like i said about the animations earlier they do seem a lot smoother when you're going into uh, different settings and different uh, menus and things Animations are so fluid on Android 13 beta. They just seem way better than they did on Android 12, in my opinion. And using the Pixel 6 with Android 12 was kind of a letdown. I was kind of disappointed using this phone. And with all the bugs with Android 12, it sort of discouraged me to use the uh, Pixel 6. But after installing this Android 13 beta, I'm really liking the Pixel 6. I don't know if that's just a placebo effect or something but it does feel a lot smoother on here with this beta version and you would think that it wouldn't just because it's a beta version but honestly it does feel really really nice and i haven't found out too many bugs on here everything seems to work as far as signal goes wi-fi no issues whatsoever so other changes is the uh, menu and the uh, power button over here for your settings and your power button they have been moved down here to the uh, bottom right hand corner when beforehand they were up here a little bit easier to get to now when you go, want to go into your settings you can get to them a lot easier and your power button has been moved down here too as you can see the nice little animation effect when you click on that it sort of pops up for you uh, goes really nicely if you click into your clock you swipe up it sort of minimizes the clock minimizes the weather very very nice and clean animations on here as far as wallpapers and styles, as you can see a nice little pop-up right here when you click into wallpapers and styles, you get a lot more options when it comes down to your color palette. You get one, two, three, four, five pages 
of color palette options and you also get some basic colors you get four pages of your basic colors on here so very very nice that you could do all of this with that so uh, you get a lot more options with that color palette effect on there you could also change your app grid and stuff like that on there as well but it's very very nice that they offer a little bit more options if you want to customize your wallpapers and your colors to match everything on here as well so very very nice with that part other than that going off of pure for performance on here things seem to be really smooth when using android 13 um everything just seemed a little bit more snappier when i was using android 12 on the pixel 6 uh, things tend to heat up a little bit when using this device just by watching videos or doing a little bit too much scrolling the internet on the pixel 6 it would heat up and warm up a bit and it just didn't seem right but on android 13 everything seems to be very very smooth and very responsive no heating issues no overheating battery life seems to be pretty solid as well haven't really noticed a change in battery life but as far as performance goes this thing has been an absolute beast uh, no issues with stuttering or lagging or anything it seems to be running like i said it's crazy better than android 12 uh, stable version this beta version seems to be kicking butt on the pixel 6 and i think it's very very nice and hopefully google continues to improve this android 13 because they really messed things up with the android 12 update but as far as that goes it's been very very nice i love the animations on here uh, everything seems smooth and clean and very very nice on the android 13 so those are the things that i've noticed coming from android 12 to 13 um not very much a little visual stuff here and there but uh, as far as other things go it has not changed that much if we go into uh, android version you can see right here the android 13 and this is the build number tpbb 220414.015 and this is the latest update for android beta so if you want to check this out i will post a link in the description down below that way you guys can go check it out opt in and then install Android Beta on here. Keep in mind, um, if this is your main device, you might want to uh, not do it, but this isn't main, my main device, so I have other devices that I'm using, but it is pretty stable, and I have been using this with my SIM card. No issues whatsoever, but just keep that in mind. This is a beta. Everything may not work. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.